Okay, hi. <gasps> Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my bookshelf tour, obviously, because, you know. Well, let's get right into it. Okay, so hi. Um, actually, we're not going to get right into it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhaul as I go through the books. And don't be peeking because I know you can see the books behind me, but can you just wait like one second? So first, we're going to go over here. This is like the thriller. Oh my god, I don't have my rings. not the free feet <laughs> okay so okay so we're back with the rings okay period um this is like my horror slash thriller slash spooky stuff we got red queen by victoria aviard this is ya and i have not read that yet so what i'm thinking about doing is turning them around like that if i haven't read them the beautiful Renee Audier. I'm going to turn that girl around because I have not read that. And then Twilight. Um, I'm going to lie and say that I have read this because I read the first one, period. <laughs> and then we got some bookmarks and highlighters. Wonder Woman. Ivy. You say work it like it's a bad thing. Witch of the West. Evie Evolutions. This, Malice by Heather Walter. Earrings. Bestie got me these for Christmas last year. And then we have Itty Bitty Wonder Woman. And then, okay, this might be an unhaul. Stephen King. This cover is beautiful. I Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I have no idea what this is about haven't read it. it might be an unhaul let me know in a comment if i should keep it or not god misery i am actually interested in reading this because i watched the movie and it was kind of good but i didn't read it so we're gonna turn that around we got hannibal and silence of the lambs silence of the lambs is the second book in the hannibal lecter series and hannibal is the third book i read this and i I gave it five stars, but I don't remember if I actually liked it or not. So <laughs> I'm going to have to reread that. Maybe I'll read the whole series and not skip right to the second one. And then we have The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. I never read a Lisa Jewell novel before. Anyways, The Wife Between Us. You're going to notice a common theme with these books, but I won't tell you what the theme is until the end. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, 2 and 3. And then for this one, okay, be honest. Be so honest. Am I going to read this? <laughs> let me know, let me know. But it's beautiful, but I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, the Flamingo. I don't really know what this is about. All I know, it's a mystery in Florida. Obviously, Flamingo. Hello. And so I was like, okay, I got to pick this up. It's kind of short and the words aren't very small. And look at that guy. He looks like he's just giving Florida. So obviously, I have to read that. Oh, and then, okay. I'm going to get judged by the person holding the camera probably. <laughs> I'm so excited to read these. Oh, Jurassic Park and The Lost World. So maybe I'll do a video reading these. And then obviously Edgar Allan Poe. And then X-Files Journal. I was like, what's the word for journal? And then Scully Motor. I'm not going to show you what's in there. Spoiler alert. I didn't use it yet because <laughs> it was just so beautiful. I didn't want to use it. Oh, and then I've never heard of this before. 
but if it says witches, I'm in. So I'll read that eventually. Be Tree by Emily Henry. I'm in my romance era, so I will probably be reading this very soon. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Oh, do more of what makes you happy. I think I got that for Easter one year, which the message still stands, period. And then avocado clip. That's a pretty big clip. Imagine this on your keychains. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Zodiac Legacy. I'm just going to be honest. She's getting on haul today because I... Yeah. I don't... I said Zodiac in, in it. That's why I got it. <laughs> and then we have the worst case scenario survival guy. You know... And then we have the Percy Jackson series, which uh, I do not own. <laughs> uh, the person behind the camera owns these books. And then we have uh, the fifth one and then Wicked 1 and 2. And I read the first one, but we're just going to pretend like, you know, I read them all. So we're going to leave them facing out. If you guys hate that, you know, well, let me know and I'll change it. All right, moving on to the second shelf. All right, this shelf, I put it as books that didn't fit on the other shelves. And I try to keep series together. So this is just a drum. Um, we have Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I freaking love this book so much. I read the audio and then, it's so funny. Oh, love that. It's so funny. On the way out of a library sale that I went to, I was thinking, oh my God, I hope they have Heartless. I hope they have Heartless. I looked over. I looked directly at it. And so I was like, this is a sign. And then... <laughs> and then we have the rest of the book in the, the, in the Wicked series. We have um, Wicked somewhere. Not there. I have three copies. So let's go through these son of a witch um i'm assuming that is her son and look at him fighting them crows or something i don't know i haven't read this one i'm gonna leave it this way <laughs> and then we have a lion among men and look at this he's so freaking cute and professional i want to know more about that ghost looking cat that's the same thing on the back and then Out of Oz, which is the fourth one, which, hello. <laughs> and we have the, girl, the Dorothy Must Die series, which, am I going to read this? Am I gonna read these? Yes. Okay, slay. I'll keep them. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't read these, so. And then we have the Merciless 1 and 2, or hello, 3 and 4, and then we have the other one over here. We'll get to those later, and I'll, I'm going to put these this way because that's what I'm doing with the series. We're lying. We are lying with the series. And then we have the Aragon series, which I have not read, so not even the first one, so I'm going to turn these all the way around. These are my beautiful amazing gorgeous spectacular fiance wife and lovers books she very kindly lent them to me well to my shelf because we share a bookshelf and then out loud this the only thing i know about this book is that everyone is gay except for the narrator and it's a western so i'm not sure if that's a spoiler if I just spoil the whole thing, that's my bad! <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I spoil the whole thing. Uh, okay, so we have my problematic side. Uh, as beautiful as they are. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, we have Carry On. Honestly, I'm thinking about unhauling this because first of all this 
author is also problematic and i just like i haven't read it so i'm not attached so and i don't want to support so yeah i'm gonna unhaul this um oh my bad we're not lying that much and then obviously next shelf we have i think her name is chloe from secret life of pets also that will weigh down your key ring um <laughs> but maybe to your book bag i don't know and then we have the little dude i don't remember his name he used to be a keychain too but he broke and then obviously we have elsa and anna because hello love and then we have warriors i haven't read any of these they are my beautiful amazing gorgeous spectacular talented fiance's books wife lover <laughs> um ignore that dust she works for free um oh sorry i'm gonna be unhauling this slaughterhouse five am i ever gonna read it absolutely not is that controversial the person behind the camera is looking like that's controversial is it or not no oh. alice by christine henry and the second book in the series i think this is a trilogy i i am like dying to read this but every time I go to pick it up, I want to read something more, like something different. But I want to read this so bad. And I know I'm going to be in my retelling era again soon, which I love. I'm always in that era, but like not when I want to read it, apparently. And then, okay, first of all, she's a writer. Oh, wait, she's a reader. She's a writer. And she's an actor. Excuse me? She is talented. Exactly. I have actually read this and this, but like this is similar. So we're going to keep this out. See, we're just telling a white lie. We're not telling the whole thing. This is the nest. I don't think I'm ever going to read this, to be quite honest with you. I'm not quite sure what it's about. I, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll look it up and see. But I just got this from the library sale because it was so beautiful. But, um... Maybe someone will enjoy it more than I will because I'm not sure if I will. Do fish, drink water. I had to read this for class. Like in, I don't uh, psychology. And this is just a book of facts and I thought it was so interesting. And this is the first book I ever read in like two days. So we're keeping that. And yes, I am not lying because I read the whole thing. And then we have Emma. <laughs> I want to read this and i have a couple ideas for it that i have not shared with the world yet so and then we have the silent companions this is from a book exchange great book yes from a book exchange also this frog has the same vibes as the book in my opinion but also this is a container what should i put in here leave it in the comments what i should put in here <laughs> stupid anyway um yeah this book gave me a little bit of nightmares but we love being traumatized uh this self-help journal don't peek i didn't fill it out yet this is my childhood bible oh precious and yes i did read that not the whole thing but okay so here's my first copy of wicked or my second copy of wicked uh if i was if i were to unhaul any of them it would be this one but i absolutely cannot because hello oh. hello she slays she's saying and yes i have read this couple next door i think this is just a thriller i will be reading that but i haven't good omens i'm pretty sure the friends that i've read you read this five stars right absolutely i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure the friends that i read hello friends on goodreads whatever read this loved it i didn't read it so i'm gonna turn around <laughs> yes i can't wait i'm so excited uh, and then these are just little vans from bob's burgers little trinkets give my bookshelf a little bit of pizzazz series of unfortunate events this one's facing out because it's literally traumatizing cover however that's not my favorite book my favorite book is probably this one this number six because we get introduced to my favorite character in the series miss esme oh should i put this back 
feel like it looks naked with the back. I'm gonna put this this way. And then we can fit something in there because we have more things to look at. And now moving on, we have this moonlight that, oh, yesterday when I tried to turn, turn it on, it didn't work. So I guess we'll be keeping that. And then we have some affirmations cards because when you're feeling a little down, you know, you gotta hear something good. <laughs> I guess Hamlet because if you want to keep this in your pocket and start reciting sh oh this is annotated wait oh wait I literally did that <laughs> oh my god I literally did that ah, ha, ha. what was I laughing at rip I don't know I need to look at this I lit that's literally my handwriting okay wow I got excited about that <laughs> okay so these my fiance's also, I can't speak for them. Uh, this is also hers. I think, to be honest, I think I made her keep that. And if you hear my, box, my dogs barking, that's fine. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is broken. Uh, but it's okay because look at that. William takes fast, so beautiful. And I, what is it called? Marked all of the, oh look, my Macbeth annotations. I marked all of the different plays. Okay. I'm not going to show you what's in this, but a journal. The Californians. And if you don't, if you didn't watch SNL from that era, what are you even doing? And then uh, I have Princess Diana stickers. <laughs> or not stickers, stamps. <laughs> Just like, I think I have some more too. I think there were two of them. Yep. Okay. Yep. She slays. Yeah, she slays. Love yes. Oh, what else is right there? I have more. <laughs> oh, I love that. She's great. Okay. And then this is a self-help book, improv. Of course, she's an improver. She's an actor. She's a professor. She's a writer. She's a psychologist. Psychology books. This is one that I'm unhauling. This is one that I'm unhauling because uh, I'm not going to read this. I'm just, I'm just not. I had that for years. I'm not going to read it. I haven't read this one. Uh, Lana Del Rey's poetry book. These are my, oh, more Shakespeare. I should put these over here. I, and yes, I did read these. Am I lying? I don't know. This is just Shakespeare annotations. The Great Gatsby. Fiance is mine. This is mine from high school. I no clue what I wrote in there. So <laughs> can't wait to read that again. <laughs> we have Paper Towns and Looking for Alaska. I have not read Looking for Alaska. Everyone says I should read this. And I am actually planning to read it. But I'm not sure when. Paper Towns? Okay, don't roast me. I mean, you can. I don't care. But I actually thought this was really good when I read it. I was like, oh my god, yes, Queen Slay. Um, yeah. You said we all did? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was something different. Looking at you, uh, Sarah Wheeler. I don't think I'm... Yeah, I don't think I'm... I don't think this is for me. Uh extremely loud and incredibly close this is one i don't know because like it has different types of media in it and i read this in like two days a long 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 time ago but i don't think i'm ever going to read it again akatar i'm planning on reading the whole series for a video uh i traded this with my friend Francis, shout out. I told you I will try y'all, period. <laughs> For the best worst book that I've ever read. I forget what that book is called. I didn't read this online. Um, and, yeah. Period. Uh, and then this. She's a magician. She's a psychologist. She's a writer. She's an actor. She's an improver. She's everything. I'm going to learn magic. <laughs> I, I am stating some things in this video I am. This is wicked. I started annotating this in high school. And oh my gosh. 
gorgeous. They, it has pictures, so I will never part with this. This is the first book, not the first book. This is, I guess in a way it was the first book. This book, I was roasted in high school because it took me a month to read. <laughs> but I did re I did try to read every day, and to be fair, I cannot read. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just have, like, so much memories with this book, and I only got this far into annotating it, so it would be interesting to read all of those annotations and then finish annotating it if I want to. Amy Poehler, because obviously... And then Ninth House, I have not read that yet. Am actually interested in reading it. This is just a notebook with pages that I rip out if I want to send a letter or something because it's cute pages. And then all this over here, these are all like spiritual. And I think this one's a psychology book. But these are spiritual. She's a psychic, she's an actor. What else is she? She's a writer. She's everything in this. Uh, this is about healing the hands or something. This is a... Oh. Um, something to rewire your brain. Healing energy. And then the untethered soul. Which if you're spiritual I feel like you know about this book. But I have not read it yet. So I know I've heard about it. But I haven't read it yet emotional freedom this one really helped me when i was going through some stuff when i was going through some stuff this book really helped me and then we just have some journals that i'm not gonna obviously go through and then we got some we got some witchcraft she's a witch she's a psychic she what else is she she's an actor Writing. she's a writer she's a professor she's everything and then yes i've read these books but like not all the way like i you know I, they're gonna stay that way auras she can read your aura i guess that's part of being a psychic and then spell work for the self-care if you guys want me to show you how to cast a spell <laughs> i'll drop a tutorial <laughs> no i'm just kidding um unless and then this is just like you go every day has a different type of meditation. I think it's an affirmation, actually. Some more books. Just received this one in the mail today. This is like a gay You've Got Mail. And yes, I did watch You've Got Mail. I'll talk about that later. The Merciless, which these are two and three, and this is one separated from their friends improv comedy manual because i am a comedian as well as the other things that i said that i was and then loveless oh this one belongs over there we'll get to there in a minute loveless by alice oseman uh, a sexual girl goes to college pretty much is what it's about Okay, and then over here, as you guys have seen before, this is like the backdrop to my videos where I sit and talk to you. I have not, these are all, by the way, these are all annotated books except for this one. I have yet to annotate this book. I did read it and I really loved it. Girls Made of Snow and Glass. It's like a snow white retelling. And I think we followed the queen and we followed the snow white character, which love. And then I'm trying to learn Spanish. So two Goosebumps books in Spanish and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in Spanish. Have not annotated that one yet. The only one I annotated so far is this one, but I didn't finish it. I just annotated the first page. <laughs> and then we have my most annotated book of all time, Popcorn Love. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna look into and see what it says. Maybe I'll do a flip through. I actually won't for this book. <laughs> Plain Bad Heroines, I just started reading this. Didn't, and actually I annotated a little bit. I wrote on a sticky note, but I would love to do an, an a flip through of my annotations of one book, but I don't think it'll be this book because this book is so personal to me and I have like personal stories in it. And I don't know if I want to be putting that on the internet. And so 
Ace of Spades because obviously one of my favorite books of all time. Annotated. Probably of the Orange Tree. As I said, I didn't in my one of the videos that I posted. I didn't finish it, but I was annotating it when I was reading it. And I need to go back and actually start over. I got to page 289. Like, it's scary, even though I already started it. It's still scary to me because it's like a lot of words. Moving on to my favorite book of all time. Don't hear that. My favorite book of all time, Malice. Of course she had to get annotated, of course. And if you haven't read Malice by Heather Walter, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. And then we have my book club's pick. Not my pick, but my the book club that I am in is pick. Annotated, of course. T, of course. So she's extra annotated. And I think controversial, controversial. I might unhaul this. <laughs> I might unhaul this with my annotations and everything. I'll have to go through it to see but and so these two books are not annotated by me they're annotated by my friend hannah shout out homie uh we sent each other like we exchanged books so she sent me these two and i this is the second book in the rizzoli and isles series and then this one is a gothic novel i already talked about this but this is gonna go over here because she is annotated. I don't know where I should put it. Maybe I need more books facing this way, I feel. So. So, yeah. And then this was set up. It was knocked down by my cat. Should I talk about books that are on my Kindle? It's too rehearsed. <laughs> Actually, no. Actually, no. Actually, no. Um, but I'll still leave that in there. Uh, okay. So. Thanks for coming to my book tour. I maybe I should film my videos right here wouldn't that be so so these are books I'm unhauling let me know if I should keep these extremely loud incredibly close child 44 by Tom Rob Smith boy I was about to say this as the book cover critical conditions by Stephen White I don't know why I keep doing that white <laughs> the zodiac legacy by Stan Lee, Store Moore, and Andy Tong. Oh, look at that. I don't know if it's the same one. That's what I'm saying. That's a nice picture. Not me rethinking. The Nest. Honestly, I'm rethinking this, so just let me know if you have read this. I don't think any of my friends on Goodreads have read this, but I'll look back. Slaughterhouse Five. Carry on by. And that's all the books <laughs> that I have um, to unhaul. These are probably. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what if I hold these up and feel like unhaul? Okay. Anyway, so. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, Brooklyn's Library. If you want to say hi <laughs> in the comments, say hi. If you uh, if you want to leave an emoji, you can leave the avocado for this big keychain. <laughs> That's not for keys. It's for backpacks, apparently. Um, and then yeah. <laughs>